Hey everyone, it's Michael and Kyleen from Forward Fuel Sports Nutrition. And have you ever wondered when the best time is to take probiotic? Everyone's talking about probiotics. They're all over the grocery store. You see kombucha tea. You see probiotics everywhere these days. But did you know if you're not taking them at the best time and the right way, you might be flushing money down the drain? Truth. So stay tuned because by the end of today's video, you'll know exactly when to take a probiotic for ultimate gut health. So I've scoured the research, I've read third party labs, I've dug through all these different companies to find five essential tips to help you take probiotics so you get the most out of them. Tip number one, my favorite because it's a question I receive almost every day in my office. Should I be taking my probiotic with food or on an empty stomach? All right, the research is clear and the companies will tell you that hands down you should be taking a probiotic with food. So your stomach is a harsh environment, having some food help decrease the harshness of that environment, water down some of the acidity, so they're more likely to survive. Truth. Number two, don't just take a probiotic with any meal or any particle of food, it should be a large meal. Okay, so there's different parts to the reason for this. So different strains of bacteria or microorganisms will survive based on different types of food that you digest. The other thing, as we said in uh, the first tip, was that more food that you have will decrease the acidity of that environment. So it makes for a nicer environment, it's less harsh, they're less likely to die off. So more food equals more substance for those microorganisms to survive on and a less harsh environment. And tip number three, in addition to all of that, your meal should actually include healthy fats. All right, so going to some of the research, one study looked at several different participants that had a probiotic that had four different strains in it. And they found when people consumed a meal that includes some healthy fat, that three out of the four bacteria in that probiotic had higher numbers of survival of the microorganisms. Truth. All right. And tip number four, don't be that person that takes a hot cup of coffee in the morning, throws the probiotic back, and doesn't have anything else, right? Hot food, hot liquid, I should say, in a probiotic don't typically mix together, right? All right. So we're starting to hear an echo that having a harsh environment in your stomach is not good for these microorganisms. So, I mean, the definition of a probiotic is microorganisms that when taken in adequate amounts are beneficial to the host. So it's not always bacteria, but it usually is. And so these are little living things and we need to make for a comfortable environment. We have to give them food. We can't have it too acidic. It has to be a comfortable environment for them to feast on, to thrive on and survive. So just having it with some coffee, having it with some soup, is not likely to help the cause. But you wouldn't just be eating or drinking coffee for breakfast, would you? Yeah, I know if you're following Ford Fuel Sports Nutrition, you're of course not you're just not. having... Of course you're not only having a cup of coffee and that's it for breakfast. All right, anyway, tip number five, last but not least, you know, people always say to me, when should I be taking my probiotic? At night, in the morning, for my snack, does it matter? And no, but consistency absolutely does matter, right? All right, so it doesn't matter if you take it morning or night, but the key is, Having consistency because as we talked about the definition of a probiotic, it's that when taken in adequate amounts, it's beneficial to the host, aka us. So the analogy I kind of like is to think about if you're planting or if you're trying to make a rainforest mm -hmm. inside your gut, you can't do that by planting a tree here and there. So trying to collect all these different types of strains of probiotics from different types of fermented foods, mm -hmm. check out our post on that on our blog that you have to have these consistently. So you have to take your probiotics consistently. Wait, are so, there holler monkeys in the rainforest? Uh, there definitely is. And if holler monkeys were a probiotic, <laughs> they'd be like the absolute best kind. But oh. you'd probably hate it because it'd probably keep you up at night. But I'd okay. be all excited. Well, but guess what else can keep you up at night? Uh, IBS, diarrhea. Yes, and we, do know, we <laughs> do know from some of our research that probiotics help people with diarrhea and helps runners that have GI issues and diarrhea, so probiotics pretty much help True. everyone. Well, it's incredible what you can accomplish when you recalibrate the gut, really rebalance, I guess I should say. But if you don't take them consistently, you're probably not gonna see those benefits. Mm -hmm. So you have to take them consistently. Sure. So those are our tips on the best time to take a probiotic. We do have a blog post on our blog if you wanna check out and read more about that research. We have some other blog posts you might find helpful, such as the best strains of probiotics for you. So we know that you know some yogurts or kombucha might have this strain and some other might have a different strain and depending on what needs you have whether it's you have diabetes you have gi issues you're a marathon runner you're an explosive athlete you have acne. different types of strains will be beneficial to different people so check out that blog post and you know exactly which strains you should be looking for in different products and again where do you find us 
forwardfuel.com. That's fwdfuel.com. And we have one more post for you. Check out our probiotic guide if you're looking for the best supplement. And if you like this, give us a big thumbs up, share us with your friends, and subscribe, and leave your comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Woo!